Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do an install of a brake controller on a 95 F-150. Now this truck does not have a towing package, but it does have some kind of a connection underneath uh, the dash that you might be able to use. Now the brake controller we're going to use is a really nice one. It's uh, Tecancha. I love these. Um, I've been using this now. This is the third trailer that I've had uh, this controller take care of. It comes in a real nice case, of course. And this is what it looks like. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, hook this up, uh, put it in its cradle here, and uh, go through some of the features. I'm also going to show you the installation and how you can cheat a little bit to keep the wiring to a minimum. So stay tuned. You can see I got it mounted here, and basically when you mount it, you're trying to stay away from electronics. Well, this is about as far away as I can get from the electronics and still keep this within reach unless I want to run it over to driver's side over to my left. But I don't, uh, I don't have any interference problems, but I may have to change this at some point. Um, and you want to keep all these screws tight because this needs to be stable because there's an accelerometer in there. And if you've ever played with one on your phone, your smartphone, you know, they're pretty touchy. And the same with this. Mount it where you can get to it because you can manually... Uh, Move this lever for braking on the trailer only without braking the vehicle. And it's a way that you set your brakes. This is a uh, Tecancha P3 controller. And these are the instructions. And you can see what you need to do. It comes with a harness uh, that you need to splice, run it to different things throughout the truck. You know, one's going to be going to the uh, cold side of the brake pedal, light, uh, one to the battery through a fuse. Uh, of course, the, the blue wire goes back to the trailer. Uh, there's a, a ground wire. Uh, all those things can be done without any kind of a harness. Or if you want to cheat, like on a Ford, like in this case, uh, you can pick up one of these um, wiring adapters. And I'll put the links down below for all these things. Um, you know, the controller and the wiring adapter. And I'll show you what you got to do. And if you look, it shows on the wiring adapter when you plug it into your harness uh, what each pin for the wiring harness is to energize. And what I did is I checked on mine. And we'll go ahead and get underneath there real quick. We'll see how well you can see this. Looks kind of like spaghetti under here right now. But... I had this already and I believe that almost all the Ford trucks have it and basically I bought the harness and that's what this part is here from Tecancha, uh, from Amazon actually and again I'll put the link down below and before I plugged it in I checked all the connectors to see on the factory Ford harness if they were all being energized and every one of them was exactly what they were supposed to except for the one that turns on the brake basically the one that energizes the whole system. So when you push the brake and the, the brake light comes on, um, it's to energize this lead here and it didn't. It. So I went ahead and I plugged in the harness, I cut off the wire and I ran it over here and hooked it into my brake light. So now the brake light energizes this wire here just like it's supposed to and then the harness does the rest and that just plugs into the back of the controller which is really straightforward right now you can see there's no there's no brake hooked up to it just to let you know so you don't freak out this thing turns itself off automatically you don't have to worry about it it'll be on for some time it shuts off it doesn't drain hardly any energy to run it so don't worry about it Okay, so whenever I put my brake on, or turn my truck on, everything is doing what it's supposed to. And it just kind of stands still. And if you push any of these buttons, it'll tell you how to set the max power. Now, I'm not going to go through all the instructions on this. The instructions are really thorough. Um, and they tell you how to set it up for your vehicle. But you can see they're saying there's no trailer connection. There's nothing hooked up back there, and there's not. But I am backed up to my camper close enough that I can plug that in. So let's go back there and do that. All right, for a brake controller, of course, you need this kind of a connection, a uh, typical 7-pin. And I've got it set up where I can put a 4-pin on here or a 7-pin. I'm going to try to do this one-handed. I've never really tried this before one-handed. 
All right, there we go, it's all connected. So now, let's go back up in the truck. And you can see, it's it recognizes there's some brakes hooked up at this point. Now if I hit my brake, there's different levels, there's different things that you can do. Um, you can set up this boost level, uh, you know, for bigger, heavier loads. It shows a little picture of a, of a bigger trailer each time you can see there. Boost 3. Boost off is just a little trailer with electric brakes. Boost 1 is a little bit bigger uh, trailer with electric brakes. It doesn't really make a difference on the axles. This will handle one axles to three axles. Um, boost level two, a little bit bigger trailer, you know, a horse trailer, fifth wheel type thing. And then back to the boost three. Well, I think I just put it on boost one. And then you can set basically how much you want to initially energize the trailer brakes uh, before your brakes start slowing down. So the trailer actually slows itself. And again, all that can be dialed in. And then you can adjust the voltage that you want to send back to the brakes. Um, you can see this is just the manual energizer. I've got it at 2.3. This is how I check my brakes. Um, there's a lot of things here. You can change the color uh, of the display to a different color if you want. The brightness, the contrast. I mean, all that stuff is it's really cool. It's a really good controller. But I wanted to show you basically how you can cheat um, running all those wires and just get a factory Ford harness uh, that's set up for something that came from the factory with a trailer setup and this one didn't but it does have that harness underneath and it was just lacking that one wire so that's all you have to do to connect it well thanks for watching again I'm going to put the link down below for this brake controller I highly suggest it it's a very good controller it has worked on a 76 Apache pop-up uh, with some a little electric brakes and those fat like golf cart tires uh, I had a Starcraft pop-up camper that was uh, the skinny tires different set of brakes and it was a heavier trailer uh, it had a, a you know a shower in it and some other things and that it worked great for that and now we have it for our travel trailer um, which is about uh, 4400 pounds I believe it is it, it works exceptional so I'm gonna put the link down below again this is just kind of to tell you how to wire it on an f-150 um, you want to want to pick up that harness I've got the link down below but first check underneath your dash and see if you have that plug if so you're all set Thanks for watching. Bye.